Hi boys and girls, Mr. V here broadcasting from his own home. Today we're going to look at dopamine. Now, if you've been watching my videos, I've brought up the word dopamine a few times. Today we're going to look into what it actually is and how it affects your body. So to start things off, let's take a look at this. What is dopamine? Now, I'm not going to read everything on this slide, but I'm going to look at the important stuff and do some explanation. Now, dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the brain. So basically, it is something that's in your brain that transmits into your body to help you do things. So what does dopamine do? It plays vital roles in certain behavior, such as moving. So just, you know, getting out of bed, moving, wanting just to move around, right? Cognition which is your ability to learn. Pleasure. Now, pleasure can mean a lot of things, and this is a good example that I'm sure everyone can agree on. Think about having a big bowl of ice cream, your favorite ice cream on earth. How does that make you feel? Yeah, it makes you feel great. Um, it makes me feel great, too. It doesn't just have to be ice cream. If you don't like ice cream, I don't know. Think about your favorite food on earth whenever you have it. Okay, so typically food can release dopamine, but there are other ways too. And if you watched my video on the Canada Food Guide, right? Food is one way to release dopamine, but too much of a good thing can lead to some health issues. Anyway, let's go down the list some more. Finally, motivation. Now, motivation meaning, you know, if you don't have enough dopamine in your body, uh, you're not too motivated. That can go with movement too, not too motivated to get up, not too, you know, mo like motivated to do work at school, maybe not too motivated to do chores. Now, it's not on here too, but I'll just throw up this cute little picture I found too right now. Boom. It can also affect your mood. So not having enough dopamine in your body can lead to wild mood swings. You can be tired one second, yelling the next second, uh, frustrated, content. You'll have some mood swings too if you do not have enough dopamine. So that is dopamine in a nutshell. But how can you increase your dopamine? There are ways to do it naturally. Take a look at this. So, five best ways to release dopamine naturally. I'm not going to go into all the details. I'm just going to read the titles right here. So, eat lots of protein. So, protein is, we. if you were watching my Canada Food Guide video, it can be meat. And if you're not into meat, that's okay. Avocados, peanut butter, eggs. Uh, cheese, nuts, I said peanuts, but nuts. There are all sorts of different kinds of proteins you can have that will release dopamine naturally in your body. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not <laughs> the fittest of guys, but you know what? I've been taking JB out for a walk regularly. He loves it. I love it. It's a way just to get movement. One thing I miss about working at school, especially in the jobs that I do, is I'm always walking back and forth. When I get home, I see that I end up walking about four miles a day just from working at school. Because if you ever see me at school, I'm walking from one room to the other and back and forth and back and forth. And that's how I get my exercise. So exercise is a way to release dopamine naturally in your body. Number three, get enough sleep. Now, we talked about this in my sleep video too, but of course that will affect a lot of it too. It'll affect your movement. It will affect your motivation in the day. Lots of kids, when I meet them at school, they're tired, okay? Getting enough sleep will release dopamine naturally. Number four, this is one of my favorites, listen to music. Now, 
I love music so much. Uh, I listen to a lot of music throughout my day. I listen to all sorts of different kinds of music. I'm, I have very eclectic tastes, meaning it's all over the place. But you know what? That's a way to release dopamine naturally in your body is listening to some music. Relax. Listen to something. But I'm going to one-up this a little bit more. You know, maybe watch your favorite movie. You know, maybe watch a cartoon that makes you happy. Basically, do something that makes you happy. All right? But listening to music is a great way to release dopamine naturally. And finally, meditate. Now, meditation happens during our mindful moments at school. Sometimes it's nice just to have some quiet time to yourself. Meditation can be sitting, just relaxing. But sometimes just taking a walk through nature can also get that feel from meditation. So there we go. Now, I know I seem to repeat myself in a lot of my videos because a lot of those things we've talked about before. With that said, since we're all working from home, I like to give you reminders on how you can feel better about yourself, right? It's a weird time, you know, when we don't have any real proper structured routines, we might just be feeling tired. You might notice yourself wanting to sleep more. And the thing with dopamine and releasing it, it can actually improve your health. It can lower blood pressure, it can help battle depression. Dopamine is something that we all have in our body, but we really need to figure out how to access it. And if you've been watching my videos, I've actually explained lots of ways to access it. So there we go. That's what dopamine does for your body. It's a chemical in your brain that is released when you do things that are good for you. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you have a great day. I know it's a bit cloudy outside today, so it might be hard to be motivated, but you know what? There's still a few things that you can do on that list. Eat lots of protein. Do something enjoyable, like listen to some music, maybe watch one of your favorite movies, and just take it all in, all right? Anyway, boys and girls, this is a longer video than usual, so I'm going to sign off. Have a great day, and take care.